Mm. Your parents always say lah, you better study hard lah. If not, you pick up rubbish. So I study hard, and then I still pick up rubbish. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not the most eco-friendly person around and I'm definitely guilty of generating more waste than I'm proud of. Hi, I'm Wen Xi, a newbie in recycling who never knows what to do with my e-waste. This! What do I do with this? At the rate we generate waste, our only landfill in Samaka will run out of space by 2035. To cope with that, the SG Green Plan aims to reduce waste sent to our landfill by 20% by 2026. But how can that be achieved? So I'm off to find Saad. He's been volunteering here since 2015. And together with a team of volunteers, he has helped refurbish and donate more than 5,000 second-hand laptops over the last two years. If your laptop is good enough to watch uh, cat videos, then it's probably going to be good enough to do home-based learning. So most of the devices that come in, over 80 to 90%, still can be salvaged in one way or the other. But about 10 to 20%, they just cannot be safe. We call them crap tops but we use them for spare parts. Ooh! So this is what the inside of a laptop looks like? Yes. So you stop looking at it as a laptop and now you can start looking at what makes it work. Right. So we'll pull out all of these things and make them useful for other devices. Okay, got it. Okay. Oh. So that's what the webcam actually looks like. So we've now got a webcam that we can uh, repurpose by resoldering this. So the battery that you pulled out from this laptop but if you see what's inside... Oh, it looks, this looks familiar. Is this what's inside our power portable bank. bank? Yes. So now you manage to make a power bank that you need yes. and you don't have to buy one. Exactly. So what do you think is kind of the solution to our whole waste? It needs to be a combination of different things. Are conscious of what you're consuming first of all and when you're done with it or it fails, you try and fix it before throwing it away. Like Sat said, the first step to reducing waste is to change our consumption habits and extend the lifespan of our devices. I know, I know, easier said than done. But I'm curious, what happens to the items in the e-waste recycling bins? Wow, what is this place? Huh? This is an e-waste recycling plant. You are now currently at EWR2. This is the place where all your freezers, refrigerators and your laptop, they are all being sent here to be recycled. This is Thomas, a professional waste collector who has been in the industry for the past 20 years. Your parents always say, lah, you better study hard. Lah. If not, you pick up rubbish. So I study hard and then I still pick up rubbish. <laughs> Of all these devices, how much of it is recyclable? For fridges, it's around 90% thereabouts. Because for electronic waste like this, uh. I would dare say it's like 99. So when we recycle one laptop, right, mm. what can you get out of it? Precious metal, of course. Gold, silver, platinum, palladium. Mm. You can see this is very hot, so that's how they put on the silver and all, uh, all the precious metals. So you can extract silver from, yes. from a chip like that? Yes. How much is like something like that worth? For silver price, is, uh, one gram is around one dollar. Understand that this is like 80 grams, so it's like 80 dollars. What I've learned today is actually really eye-opening. I've always felt kind of helpless around waste, but I'm feeling hopeful again because these innovations actually exist and it's actually possible to have a circular economy. I think the biggest challenge is still the low collection rates. This portion, I think, boils down to the awareness. Before this, so what do you like deal with it? I actually quite often will throw inside the dust. Once it's there, right, then we cannot do anything to it. It will be incinerated and then it will be shipped to Pulau Samakau. This one part I think we want to avoid lah, entirely. Ultimately, it is a more sustainable way of living, lah, right? Yeah, that's right. The waste problem is pressing and imminent. And from what we've seen today, it is possible to turn trash into treasure so that our recovered materials can be used over and over again. So let's start making more conscious decisions about our consumption and in waste management. This way, we can reduce our waste and prolong the lifespan of Sumakao Landfill.